her dog, dog, dog. Einstein, come here, doggy. Come here. Huh? Oh. What's that smell? Oh man. Oh, doc, you gotta clean up the place because it reeks. They're probably nothing. Ing, 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 ing. Oh, wait. Hello? Hey, Billy. Um, yeah, I, this is some, this is important. So, I, I've been working for a long time this whole week, you know that? Oh, yeah, you've been gone. And I think you might have left your equipment on. Oh, yeah, wait. Oh, yeah, that reminds me, Billy. Just make sure not to turn on that T. Just make sure not to turn on the TV next to my bed. It might have a mal- It might have a malfunction because I've been experimenting on it. All right. I'll make sure. I'll keep it in mind. Oh, you, you, is that, are those my clocks? Oh, yeah. It's about 8 o'clock. Yes, they're all... My experiment is great. They're all 25 minutes slow. Wait a minute. Um, Doc, is it 8.25? Yep. That, you're very precise there, Billy. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Doc, I'm late for school. I can't talk. I gotta go. Huh, huh, I'm here. Oh, good thing you're here, because if Mr. Red Strickland was here, he would give you four tidies in a row. Oh, good thing I'm here, because Doc told me that I was late for school. Billy? Did I just hear you mention that Dr. Foxy Brown? Are you still hanging out with him? Uh You're a slacker. That's a tardy for both of you. Uh, wait, what? I've told you not to hang out with that guy. He's a slacker, just like you're... And you're a slacker, just like your old man was. Uh, but, 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 but. Oh, did I mention that my band is trying out for the school dance? Noise. Just noise. Well, it's not going to be noise once you hear it. Huh. All right. Are we ready? Oh, oh yeah, man. All right. Hello, everyone. We're the, we're the spinheads. Oh, yeah, the spinheads. Oh, yeah, the spinheads. Oh, stop, stop. Yeah, you're just really loud. You're too loud. Get out of here. What? What? Oh, man. That was too loud. Hey, Billy, come on. That was a good performance. You should do a tape recording and send it in to the record company. Oh, come on. That was bad. They said I was too loud. Run, re run rejection is the end of the world. Save the clock tower. 30, oh. years, 30 years ago at 10.04 p.m., that clock was struck by lightning. All right. <laughs> Here's a here's a penny. Oh, and here's the flyer. Huh. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks. Save the clock tower. Alright, so aren't we going to the lake? No. Maybe. Oh yeah. Don't forget. You got wait, did your mom let you borrow the car? Oh, she thinks I'm going camping, but yeah, she let me borrow it. So, bye. See you tonight. Bye. Hard. I made it back home. Hey, McFly. Huh? Oh, is that my dad getting bullied by... Oh, man. He's getting bullied again. Let me go see. Oh, you're such a loser, George McFly. I've been bullying you all your life. You've never stood up to me. Uh, well, um, uh... <laughs> Hey, your shoes are tied. What? Oh, I... He's so gold, McFly. Oh. Hey, by the way, thanks for the soda. And by the way, I'll have those paperwork <laughs> done. I. Yeah, I need those paperwork done by tomorrow, okay? Got it, b big. Oh, man, Dad, you gotta stand up to that guy. He's mean. I know, and I just can't. I'm sorry. Oh, don't worry. Let's just go eat dinner. You guys, your uncle's still in jail. We're gonna have to eat this cake without him. Alright. It's very sad to have an uncle in prison. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm gonna be late for work. Alright, gotta go. Love you, Mom. Love you, Dad. Oh. Oh, by the way. Billy, Jenna, Lily called. 
Oh, she called? About what? Hi. I don't really like Chloe. You guys should break up. But why? I love her. It's just I don't really like Chloe. Well, then how are you supposed to meet anybody in life and fall in love with them? I don't know. Let's... Let me guess. Like the way you met your fa- Like the way we met- You met our father? Okay, that was something that was very stupid. Our grandpa hit him with a car. I mean, how did you fall in love with him? I don't know. But here's one thing I don't understand. What was Dad doing in the middle of the streets? Um, I don't know. Oh, uh, what? Huh. Well, I bet Dad was just, don't know, what he was doing. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to bed. Okay. Alright, we're just gonna finish our dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> That's a very funny TV show. <laughs> Hello? Hey, hey, Billy. This, it's me. It's me, um, Dr. Foxy Brown. Oh, yeah. Hi. Did you sleep in? Sorry if I woke you up. Now, I need your help with some. Now I need your help with something. What is it? Come meet, come meet me at at Two Box Mall at one seventeen. One seventeen in the morning. Yep. I just need you. I just need you there. I want to show you something. Something. It's gonna change scientific history. And get and bring, make sure to bring a video camera too. I don't. I want to document all of this. All right. You got it, Doc. All right, Doc. What did you want me to see? Oh. Whoa. Hey, Billy. How's it going? Oh, it's going great, Doc. What is this? Here, I'll explain it to you, like, later or something. I'll explain it to you in a sec. Here, go get your video camera. All right. All right, doc, now help me document all. All right, never mind that. All right, hello, I'm Dr. Foxy Brown. I'm I'm in the parking lot of Two Box Mall in Gill Valley, and I'm about and this is gonna change scientific history forever. It's the world. It's the most greatest discovery. Here, I'll show you. Hey, Nathan, here, boy. Did you just drop the camera? Oh, don't worry. There. All right, as long as it's like that. So you see that Nathan's watch on its collar is the same as my watch, right? Oh, yeah. All right. Watch this. I'm going to tell Nathan. Wait. I thought his name was Einstein. What, my dog? Yeah. No, his name is Nathan. Oh, yeah. All right. So, all right. First, Nathan is going to get in the car. Ah, oh, man. Sometimes this car is... Some, sometimes it's hard to open. All right. All right, go in, boy. Go in. All right, Nathan's in the car. Now watch this. See this? Oh, yeah. It's hooked up to the car. Oh, no way. Yes way, dude. Watch. Once I click it on a mode. All right. Oh, yep. It's so awesome. All right. All right. Now let me just back it up more for a bit. All right, Billy, I don't know if I said this before, but once this hits 88 miles per hour, it's going to be awesome. Just trust me. It is. All right, Doc. Oh, oh. You see, Billy, what did I tell you? 88. Boom. Oh, you disintegrated Nathan. No, you killed him. Don't worry, Billy. He's still alive. Well, where is he? Well, the more important question is, when is he? What do you mean by that? You see, 
He is now the world's first time traveler. Nathan? I sent him one minute into the future. Wait, you built a time machine? Out of what kind of car? I can't really tell. Out of a DeLorean, because the way I see it, if you want to time travel, do it in some style. In about one minute, and in about 30 more seconds, we should catch up with him in the time machine. Alright, so we just wait a bit more seconds? Yep. Watch out, he's coming. What? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, man. Dude, it, it, is, is Nathan okay? Well, let's go check. Alright. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. What, is it hot? No, it's cold. You know, those are some pretty strange footsteps. Well, huh, weird. Alright, you want to open it, Billy? Alright. Hey, Nathan, you're still alive? Um, Billy, it's not a pole. It's, uh... It... Where are those weird sounds coming from? Huh, weird. Alright, come on out now, Nathan. Oh, Nathan, I'm glad you're safe. Now look. Look, Billy. Look, now his... Look, now his watch is exactly one minute behind mine. And still ticking. Alright, you can go, buddy. Huh, he seems like he... He's acting like everything is normal. That's the thing. When you're in the time machine, when you time travel, the trip is instantaneous. Like, instant. That's why his watch is exactly one minute behind mine. Here, come over to the other side. I'll show you how it works. Come on, look. Alright. Alright. Over here, Billy. Alright. So, how does it work? Alright, let me just open this. Here, come on, let's go in. All right, here it is, Billy. Now, now first, we gotta turn on the time circuits, obviously. There we go. Now, this one, now this one right on the top tells you when you're going. The one in the middle tells you when you current, when you are right now, and the on the bottom one tells you when you previously were. Um, Billy, why aren't you in the car? Oh, huh, it's very echoey in here. Yeah, I know. Now. Now let me tell tell you. You can go whenever you want. Like let's say you want to see hmm. Let's see. You want to see George Washington cut down the cherry tree, even though he didn't. Or the beginning of the universe. Or here's another great date. Let's see. November November seventh, nineteen fifty five. Yes, no, November seventh, nineteen fifty five. Well, what happened there? That was the time. That was the day I invented time travel. Huh, I remember that I was walking in my bathroom and then I slipped and I had a vision, a picture in my head. A picture of that on the, over there is what I call the Fox Capacitor. The Fox Capacitor, the thing that makes time travel possible. Wait, come over here. All right. Ah, uh, you know I remember all of this used to used to be a gigantic grass field as far as the eye could see. A man who used to live here was Mr. Bob, and he, and he had all this land, and he decided to make boxes for a living. Weird, right? Oh, yeah, it's kind of weird. All right, now I'm going to go get some luggage. For what? Well, I'm going to go about 30 years into the future, because I've always wanted to see the future and see, and see how we can, and see how the world was created, like I said earlier. And I... And once I go to the future, I'll be be able to see who wins the next Olympics games. All right, can you tell me when you get there? All right, of course I will. Now, oh wait, I forgot to fuel it. Oh, what does it run on? Gasoline? No, it's not strong enough. It requires something like plutonium. Wait a minute, this thing is nuclear? No, 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 no. It's electric, but I need the plutonium's nuclear reaction to generate all the electricity that I need. Oh, really? Well, where'd you get all of it? I got it from some... I got it from a French... Crazy French fry guy. He wanted me to build him, like, some sort of gigantic bomb. So, I pranked him. <laughs> Alright. Now, I gotta go fuel it. Let me just... Uh, there we go. There. Now. Wait a minute. I also forgot to bring some extra plutonium. 
How 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 else would I get back? <laughs> what is it? Uh oh, it's the crazy French fry guy. Run for it, Billy! Run! I'll distract him. All right, huh, huh. All right, run for it, Foxy. Keep the time machine safe. You got it. <laughs> So, you think you can scam me? Um, well, alright, it's time for my revenge. No, wait, no, 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 I... No, Doc! Oh, I gotta get away. <laughs> oh, oh, man, where am I? What the? What is that? It's an alien! I'm gonna get him! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Don't come back here, alien! Or don't come back! Don't come back here again! Oh, he wrecked one of my boxes. Oh, don't worry, Billy. It's just a dream. It's just a dream. What the? <laughs> oh, oh. Why is the clock in the clock tower still working? Oh, hey, sir. What's with the weird life preserver and... Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. That guy looks like he's from the 1950s, and that clock tower is... And the clock on the clock tower is still working, and... I'm in the year 1955. Oh, man. Oh, I gotta hide this. That's good enough. Alright, I gotta find Doc. He can help me. Alright, where's Doc? Hey, McFly! Huh? Hey, I'm talking to you, McFly. Uh, what do you need, Big? Alright, you got my homework? You got my homework done, McFly? Well, I was thinking since it wasn't due till Thursday. Hello? Hello, anybody home? Huh, think, McFly. You know what would happen if my t if the t if my teacher f found out that you did my homework for me, I get I get kicked out of school and you would too. So you wouldn't want that to happen, would you? No, of course not. Hey guys, come over here. It's come over here. All right, big. You're your best. Oh yeah, mate. Ah, uh, it's just it's Rockstar Foxy McFly, the loser. Or what did you what do you call him? I call him a butthead, so why don't you call him but a butthead too? I don't know, it's not my thing. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this dude is, a, what do you call him again? A butthead. What are you looking at, butthead? Hey look, check out this dork's life preserver. Huh, <laughs> he's a loser too. Or a butthead, call him a butthead. Oh by the way, get my homework done by tomorrow, alright McFly? Alright. Hey, look, your shoe's untied. What? Aha, <laughs> don't be so cold, but McFly. Alright, let's go. Uh, what? Oh, you're Rockstar Foxy McFly. Yeah, and who are you? I don't know, but you gotta stand up to that guy. He's rude. Yeah, well, he's bigger and tougher than me, so what can you do? Alright, I gotta go home. I guess I'll see you again sometime. Bye. Alright. Wait a minute. Maybe he can lead me to Doc. Wait! Wait! Alright. Ooh, a penny. Okay. Let's gotta pick this up and... Uh, yeah. Alright. Maybe I'll pick this up better this way. <laughs> huh, wait a minute. There's a car! Oh, uh, yeah, watch out! What the... Ah. What the? Hey, another one of these kids jumped in front of my car. Help me put him in the house, all right, to see if he's okay. Uh, oh, Mom, how's that you? There, there. You've been asleep for almost two hours. I had a horrible nightmare. Then I went to 1955, and I did something. Well, you're safe and sound now, but back in 1955. What the, 1955? Oh, uh, uh, duh, buh, duh, buh. You're my, you're my.
Uh, my name is Funtime Foxy. And my dad hit with the car, so I was making sure you were okay. All right. Just don't, don't, don't worry about it, Cat. Al. Al, oh, what? Why'd you call me Al? Isn't that your name? Al, isn't that your name? I Alvin, Alvin? It's written on the back of your life preserver. Hmm. Huh. Oh, actually, people call me Billy. Oh, well. Hey, honey. It's my mom. All right. How's the young boy? He's doing good. Here, come downstairs. Then you can eat some dinner. All right. All right, Mom. Here he is. Here's Alvin. Is that his name? Yeah. Oh, but people call me Billy. And by the way, I'm okay. You see, honey? He's all right. Well, what were you doing in the street? You're not, you know you're not supposed to be there. Oh, ignore him. Now, by the way, Billy, I hope you like lasagna, because that's what we're having. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. All right. By the way, here's how I chose it. You already met Funtown Foxy. They're the yellow... The little guy right there at the bottom corner of the table is Tommy, and right next to him is little baby Banana Joe. You can't really see him, but yeah, just because he's very small, because that's how small babies are. So, yeah. Huh, alright. So, hey, by the way, do you know, um, where Doc, do you know where Dr. Foxy Brown is? Who's that? But I have, er, but I do know people with the last name Brown. Yeah, I think they live down the street to the right. All right, thanks. Hey, uh, Mom, since since Dad almost hit Billy with the since Dad hit Billy with the car, shouldn't he spend the night here until he's okay? Well, that's true, Billy. You know, you know, I think you're our responsibility now. By the way, he can sleep in my room. Oh well, um, oh, I gotta go. I have to see dim thing or do something. All right, bye. Oh, huh, such a strange young man. Well, I hope... Funtime Foxy, I hope you don't have any children to act like that when you're a mother. Huh. How I said on this street. I wonder if this is where he lives. Right, I hope... I hope the doc is here. Hi, doc. Doc. Hey, what are you doing in my house? Wait, never mind that now. Wait. Wait, don't tell me your name. Don't tell me anything about you. Wait, shh, shh, wait, quiet. There, now, I'm going to read your mind. You come from, um, you come from pump someplace far away. Uh, no, 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 don't say anything. You want me to give money to the poor. Huh, that's what you should do, but no. No, 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 stop talking. Hmm. You want me to donate money to the charity of whatever. Huh, Doc. Want me to get that off you? Yeah. I'm from the future. I came here in a time machine you invented in 1985. Now I need your help to get back to get me back to the year 1985. I don't believe you. No, 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 no. Believe me, believe me. Here, um, uh, here, let me go get a picture of my brother and my sister, real quick. Huh, huh, huh. see, look at it. Mm, let me see. Huh, kind of, this is good editing, whoever you are. Oh, I'm telling the truth. Alright, tell me, future boy, in 1985, who's president of the United States? Oh, what is it? Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan? The actor? Seriously? Alright, then let me guess. Jerry Lewis was the vice president? And I'm guessing that Wendy Waterman, Waters, Waterman was the first lady. Ha. Well, it's bedtime. Good night, future boy. No, wait, 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 wait. Yo, you told me a story once. Um, It's how you came up with the time machine. Is that you were walking in a bathroom, and then you slipped. And hit your head, and then that's when you came up with the Fox Capacitor, the thing that makes time travel possible. How do you know about that? Alright, so, here it is. Huh. Well, when I, when I hit my head, I had a vision of 
The Fox Capacitor. Alright, here, look. Oh, it's not opening. Here, let me see. Try. Huh. Let me see this. <gasps> the fox. Yes! I finally invent something. One of my inventions actually works. Yes! Oh, you're right, it works. Wait a minute. We gotta get you home. Um, now, how did... Now, what kind of fuel does this thing run on? Oh, does it run on gasoline? No. It runs on plutonium. So it's nuclear. No. Well, if it's not nuclear, then what kind of car is it? I think it runs on electricity. Electricity. Wait a minute. If the car needs a nuclear reaction to, gen to generate a, a lot of electricity to travel through time, that will be about 1.21 gigawatts? Now that is a lot of electricity. Oh, what's a gigawatt? It's a diff if it's it's a definition for a lot of electricity. Why was I so careless in the few? Why was I so careless? Well, Billy, I think you're stuck here. What oh, stuck here? No, I would I don't want to be stuck here. I I have a girl I have a girlfriend. Is she pretty? Oh yeah, she is. She's very pretty. Well, well, the only thing that's capable of generating a lot all of that electricity is a bolt of lightning. Wait, say that again. A bolt of lightning. Wait a minute. I think I not no one wants me to strike. Wait. I read it on a flyer. And I think I lost it, but I think at exactly ten oh four PM on wait a minute. At what date? Oh no. Wait a minute. I remember. It was on it was on Thursday. Thursday. That's in two days. Oh, yeah, I can spend two more days in 1955. You can show me around. You can, uh, you know, do all that stuff. Yeah, but let me, This here's the thing. We got to go back to my house, and you can't talk to anybody or go anywhere, all right? Because it could have major consequences on future events. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, Billy, did you interact with anyone else but me today? Well, I think I bumped into my parents. Wait a minute. Hey, Billy, let me see that photo again if you brought... Of your brother and sister. All right. All right, here it is. Let me see that. Wait a minute. Yes, I was right. Look at your brother. Hmm? Oh, yeah. His head's gone. Well, why? Because he's being erased from existence. What? Here, I'll tell you, all to I'll tell you about it tomorrow. All right, now, he was around here somewhere. All right, Billy. Now, according to my calculations, you interfered with your parents' meeting. Which means they won't fall in love, they won't get married, they won't have children. Which means you and your brother and sister won't exist. First your brother will fade away, then your sister, then you will fade next. Unless you repair the damage. So once we find once we find your dad, then you gotta make sure you stick stick with him and make sure he tries to like I don't know take a, take um take your mother on a date. All right, I'll just be sitting over there watching everything, making sure. Just monitoring stuff, all right? All right. There he is. Okay, mm-hmm. Oh, hey, man. Oh, uh, you know me, the one who saved your life the other day? Oh, oh, yeah. All right, now, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Come on, over here. All right. Oh, uh, man. All right, over here. Hey, um, um, uh, Funtown Foxy? Huh? Oh, hey, Alvin. Uh, how are you like you to meet my good friend, Rockstar Foxy? Uh, it's a pleasure meeting you. Oh, how are you feeling? Well, I've been really worried about you ever since you ran off last night. Wait, I gotta go. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, oh, don't worry. Um, it was nice talking to you. Um, bye. Oh, man, she didn't even look at him. I think... Hmm. Oh, man. Um, Billy, it seems like it's a bu bit worse. Apparently, your mother is in love with you instead of your father. Wait, what? So, how are we gonna get them to, like, I don't know, fall in love? Well, what do they like to do together? Nothing. Wait a minute, I just remembered. There's a school- There's a school dance coming up. I think it's called the Magical Fire Dance. If we can get those two to go to the dance tomorrow- Wait a minute, it's tomorrow, and tomorrow's gonna be the night- and tomorrow night is the night of the lightning, 
of the lightning storm. So, yeah. So we so you gotta make sure that your father takes her out to the dance. All right. Well, I just well I find a well I keep finding a way to fix to like um to like get the time machine to get the lightning into the time machine. All right. Oh, you got it. Yeah. I'm gonna go back to the house and work on it. Hey, wait. All right. Wait. Um. Hey, Rockstar Foxy. You know that girl I introduced you to, Funtime Foxy? Um, yeah. You know, she wanted me to tell you that you, you should ask her out to the Magical Fire Dance. All you gotta do is go over there and ask her. Are you kidding? What if she said no? I can't take that kind of rejection. And besides, I think she'd rather go with someone else. Like who? Biff. I mean, Big. I keep pronouncing his name wrong. Huh? Get away, Big. Uh uh. Come on. You know you want to go to the dance with me. No, I don't. Well, maybe you do, but you just don't know it. I don't want to go to the dance with you. I'd rather go with someone else. Oh, you heard her. She'd rather go with someone else. This is the new business, butthead. So get out of here. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. You know what? I'm going to cut you a break. So make like a tree and get out of here. Uh, uh Come on, boys. Let's go. Come on, buttheads. Let's go. Huh. They're coming. <clears throat> oh, thanks, Alvin. I was wondering, maybe you'd like to go with me to the Magical Fire Dance? Well. Um. Oh, would you? Well, hasn't anyone asked you yet? Well, not yet, except for him. I didn't want to go with him. What about rock star Foxy McFly? Well, he's a little cute, but you stood up for me. And a man should be strong and courageous. Don't you think that? Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to go home for a bit. I guess I'll see you at the Magical Fire Dance. All right. Huh. Huh. Um, Rockstar Foxy? Oh, uh, Billy, I've been thinking about it. Thinking about what? About asking Funtime Foxy to dance? And, you know, I think it's time that I try something new. And, but I heard you guys talking and she's already going to the dance with you. Oh, don't worry. You two are meant to go to the dance together. Yeah, but how am I supposed to go with her if she's gonna already going with you? All right, I have a plan. So, ha, huh, all right. So you're gonna be at the dance at um nine o'clock. All right, and then, and then I'm gonna get in the fight with her somewhere around here or something. And then you come in and you punch me in the stomach, and then you and Phantom Foxy live happily ever after. All right. You make it sound kind of easy. I just, I don't want, I'm just really scared. Oh, come on. There's nothing to be scared about. By the way, just do it. You can be courageous. But, all right. Just by the way, what's with the weird life preserver? Don't ask. All right. I'm going to go home. Me too. Oh, hey, Doc Foxy. Oh, Billy, you're here? Oh, yeah. So what's your plan on getting me back home? All right, well, here it is. So I attach this giant rod with a hook on the top. So it can... Here, I'll show you on this mo model I made. All right. So, 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 according to, so according to my calculations, at exactly 10.04 p.m., lightning will strike the clock tower. And then going through the, the lightning bolt will go through this cable. And then in between the wires of these two poles... And then in the wire, in between these two poles. And then you would have... And then going through there at the at at a good time at the good time at a good time we'll be able to get you enough. S and if you go to a far enough distance, you'll be able to get enough speed, and you'll be able to hit this in time to be able to go back to 1985. All right. So what now? Well, well we gotta prepare prepare for tomorrow night. Yeah. So. So what do we do now? I don't know. 
Let's just prepare for tomorrow night. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Come on, let's go. All right. Huh. Oh, we're almost there. Oh yeah. Um. By the way. Oh no. Hey you. Oh no. It's big. She was supposed to go with me, not you. All right, guys. Take him away. What? Oh get. Uh oh. Someone save me. Guys, we're also talking to. Huh. All right, where is he taking? Guys, take him to the. Take him over there. All right. Oh, where's Billy? Over there. He must be over there with her. All right. Uh uh. Hey, I'm a uh, uh Billy. Uh, oh no, it's big. I think you're in the wrong spot, McFly. Just run away. Are you deaf? Run away. Help me, please. No, you leave her alone. All right. You're gonna get it. Uh, uh, uh. No, stop it, big. You're gonna, you're gonna break his back. Uh, 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 uh. Huh. Oh, I gotta go save Rockstar Foxy. Oh, if he's there, I gotta go. Never mind. Big this big. Oh. Hmm. Huh. Um. Do you? Would you like to go to the dance? Um. Sure. I. I love to. Rockstar Foxy. Oh, come on. Let's just leave. Leave, leave this guy. Oh. Yes. My dad finally stood up to birth. All right. Maybe Foxy, doc, Doc's done. Ha, huh. Doc, Doc. Hey, I'm here. Hey, Billy, it's all set up for you. By the way, my father punched Biff. I didn't know he had him. He's never stopped the Biff in his life. Wait, he never has? What's wrong with that? Never mind. See you in about 30 years, Billy. All right. Oh, by the way. I have a letter for you. What's the meaning of this? Find out in 30 years. Is this about the future, Billy? Here, what's wrong with a little information on the future? I, if I know too much about my own destiny, there could be consequences. Very disastrous ones. Oh, come on. Your life depends on it. No, I refuse to know too much about my own destiny. So I'm ripping this up. All right. Uh-oh, Billy. Go. You got less than four minutes. Just go, go, go. I calculated the, the exact distance you need to go. Just go. All right. Huh. All right, Billy. Now go, go, go. Huh. All right. I'm going to sit here and watch. Oh, Doc. Why did you rip up the letter? Wait a minute. I got a time machine. I can go whenever I want. I'll go back early and warn him. All right, 10 minutes till I do it. Now, let's go. Huh? Once I'm mayor, I'm gonna make sure cars don't speed. Yes. Oh, yes. Mission accomplished. See you around, Billy. Huh, huh. Wait a minute. There's Foxy. Oh, I. No, I'm too late. I'm about to watch myself time travel, too. Oh. Doc! Huh, Doc? No. I'm too late. Uh. Oh, hey, Billy. Huh? But how did you survive? Oh, um... Uh, huh? Is that bulletproof vest? Yeah. Uh, how did you know? I didn't even tell you. On uh, the note? But didn't you say stuff about the space-time continuum and stuff? Yeah, but then I thought, why the heck not? Alright, 
let's just go back home. Yeah. I'm here, I'll take you home. Come on, let's go. Alright. Huh. Alright, Doc. When are you gonna go? Hmm, I'm gonna go about thirty years into the future now. Seems like a good number. Oh yeah. Hook remember. Tell me when you get there, alright? Indeed I will, Billy. Indeed I will. Alright. Oh, what a dream. A very intense one indeed, though. How about go eat breakfast? Oh, what the? Oh, good morning, Billy. Huh, um, um, brother, are you late for your day shift at Burger King? Um, no, I'm not. I only go to the office in about five more minutes, so I may be li so I'll have to go in about five minutes. All right. Oh, that was some nice coffee, huh? Oh, that was some good morning coffee, eh, honey? Oh, yeah, that was good. Oh, good morning, kids. You're already eating breakfast? Good. Uh, so, Billy, are you going to go out to the lake with Lily? Yeah, aren't you doing that tonight? Oh, what are you talking about? We don't have a car. Oh, of course we have a car. Come look. What do you mean? See, look, there's Big fixing the car right now. All right, now, Big, make sure you pump the tires double their size, not just once their size, you know? Oh, I'm just fit. Oh, I'm finishing up. Oh, I'm on the tires right now. Big, don't fool me. Oh, sorry. I meant I was almost to the tire part. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, Big, what a character. Always trying to get away with something. It never works. <laughs> oh, um, by the way, Billy, here are the keys to your car. Here are the keys to your car. You're all whack. You're all fixed up for tonight. Huh? My car? Yeah, you have a car, remember? <laughs> Alright, I gotta keep fixing this. <laughs> oh, Dad, wait right there. I'm gonna go check out my car. Alright. Is this my car? Awesome. Hey, Billy. Want to take a quick drive in it? Oh, Lily. Hi. Um, Billy, you're acting like you haven't seen me in days. I haven't. Um, is something wrong, Billy? Are you okay? Um, no. Everything's fine. <laughs> what the... Billy, you and Lily gotta come with me. Where? To the future. Hey, Lily, do you think you can get me some fuel? Like what? Garbage. And put it in the tank. Put it in the back. Um, alright. Alright. Well, what happens to us in the future? Hmm. Do we become bad people? Oh, no, Billy. You and J Lily turn out amazing. It's just something needs to be done about your children. Huh? Hey, dog, I think you might want to back up. We don't have enough road to go to Asia. Roads, Billy? Where we're going, we don't need. <laughs>